Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at fitting a new battery and an SSD into a 2009, uh, mid-2009 uh, MacBook Air 30, uh, sorry, MacBook Pro 13-inch system. So first of all, we're going to start by flipping the machine over. Um, as you can see, it's not had the uh, easiest of life, this machine. There's a few you know, missing feet and sort of scrapes and dings on it, but overall not in bad condition. And what we're going to do is start by going round and removing the screws on the base of the laptop. Um, it's a fairly simple job this. And I tend to with these just because these screws sort of going into metal, I just like to keep them in the order that I've taken them out. Uh, most of them are the same size apart from a few at the back here. So it's fairly easy to keep them in the right size that way, but I find they go back in better if you keep them in the same places. Sorry, I will mute my email alert. We just go around and remove these. We have the one back corner one there, which is small size, and then these the rest should be longer. So with all of these removed, it's now dead easy just to, from the back here, lift that panel off and we can see inside our machine. So first job, I'm going to remove the hard drive. So that is done with these two screws on this edge here. What I will also do while I'm working on this is line the bay with insulation tape. Um, I have another video explaining why I do this, but basically the hard drive cables wear over time. Uh, and by lining these, it can help prevent that. So with that removed, we pull this tab to lift the drive up and then release that there. Oh, I just need to find the right size Torx screwdriver. So with this on the drive here we have these, these are I believe T6 screws so we need to remove these four holders from the drive and these will go into our replacement SSD. So I'll just remove these quickly. So with these lugs now fitted to our SSD we are simply going to reconnect that and put that side down and in there and then screw down the holder here like I say I'm going to line the drive bay with some electrical tape but I will do that afterwards I'm also going to, we can see it's a bit dusty in here, I'll give it a quick clean out um, just to help with cooling and you know, give the machine a bit of a refresh while it's apart. Now what we need to do is we need to remove the battery. So I'm first of all going to disconnect it using my spudger and just lever up from the side to disconnect it there. In fact, probably I should have come from that edge, but never mind. And then we are just going to undo these screws holding down the battery. So, two screws on this edge.
Again, one long, one short here. And with that done, let's just check under here, there's nothing else that we have missed. Yep, that label now will help us pull up the battery and then slide it out from those front lugs. And we have our replacement here, this is a Sloder branded battery. Um, as the genuine Apple replacements are quite expensive, we've gone with the, the customer's gone with a third party battery here. So slot that in place. And line up and reconnect that cable there. And there we go, we have our SSD fitted and our new battery. I'm now going to uh, give the machine a bit of a clean up internally uh, and get things reassembled and check everything is happy. I hope you found this video useful and um, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more in future and thanks for watching.